Hi everyone, I am Joyce and welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, I want to talk about the age pressure. 30 ka na ba? Or 31, 32, or 33 years old? Marinig at marinig mo itong mga words na to. Deadline, finish line, timeline. We can hear all these words from our friends, from our relatives, neighbors, and from social media. Every woman, no matter where you are in the world, they feel the pressure, especially when you reach the age of 30. 30, this number. When you reach the age of 30, some people will put a deadline for you. They expect you to have a baby, siguro mga dalawa, by this time. Or, they expect nila na kasal ka na, or ikakasal ka na. Me, personally, when I turned 30 years old, um, wala akong plano pa um, ikasal noon. Siyempre, pero bilang babae, gusto mo at gusto mo rin magkapamilya, pero wala pa nung, nung mga panahon na yun kasi marami pa akong gusto gawin sa, sa buhay ko. Even though um, naririnig ko na sa mga kakilala ko na um, dapat ikasal na ko or dapat um, magkababy na ko, yung dalawang yun, ikasal at magkababy, hindi lang ginagawa ng isang tao. And uh, I believe that time eh, single ako. So, how will I do that? How will I get married if I don't have partner? How will I have a baby if I don't have um, husband? Um, and um, wala yun sa talagang plano ko noon. So, uh, I don't know why people think na when you reach 30, um, sobrang uh, yun na yung panahon na kailangan uh, ikasal at magkababy ka na. For me, um, you are in charge of your own destiny. And don't forget that. Your goals in life and your happiness is what matters most. Not what people expect you to be. Um, I am 35 years old. I don't have kids and I am not married. Never been married, actually. And um, the pressure is not coming from me. The pressure is coming from other people because they are really expecting you to be married and they are really expecting you to be in this certain um, position in your life. But then, they don't understand that you have your own plans. And ito yung mga panahon na um, talagang sobrang eager tayo na makuha or maging, um, maging um, successful sa ibang bagay. Not just because people will tell you na you need to, to settle down. No. Uh, they need to understand also that you have your own plans in life. And um, kung alam mo kung yung gusto mo and you know where you're going, yun yung important. All these words. Mag-asawa ka na, mag-anak ka na, Diyos ko naman, tanda mo na, mag-anak ka na, kailan mo kayo kapasal? Magpakasal ka na. Pa, parang sandali lang. Wait lang ha. Sarili ko to eh. Do we really need to tell them what we want in our life? Or do we really need to answer all these questions? Think about this. If you're not ready to change your status, this should not be a big deal for you. It's so funny that some people can easily tell us all these words, but they cannot talk about your life. They cannot talk about your plan in this life. But I find it crazy. Some women, they are the goal-getter one. Hindi importante sa kanila ang status. Hindi importante sa kanila kung ano yung ipopost nila sa social media kung they are in a relationship or they are engaged. They are the goal-getter one. So, hindi mo break yung, yung plano nila sa buhay just because nasa certain age na sila just because some of their batchmates and, and their cousins are getting married. I, iba yung iba yung plano nila sa buhay. So you should not judge other people based on your expectations are. Let people be themselves. Comparison. This word can kill your joy when you keep comparing yourself to others. Stop that. Just because one person got engaged, saw it in social media, or isa sa mga kaibigan mo, ikakasal na, or magkakaanak na and ikaw hindi pa then suddenly you feel like the pressure is getting high 
and uh, you cannot control it and you end up feeling so small about yourself tapos takot, takot ka na sa mga bagay-bagay, sa maraming bagay at hindi mo alam kung saan nagagaling yung ganong feeling ako, hindi ko hindi ko talaga kinocompare yung sarili ko sa mga kaimigan ko or sa ibang tao kakilala ko lalong lalo na doon sa mga taong um, kaedad ko na uh, meron ng anak at uh, kasal na kasi um, naniniwala ko na iba ako sa kanila at iba sila sa akin um, your journey is different from the others you have your own life I have my own life so don't focus to someone's life and um, there is so many tools for us not to feel the pressure and the fear um, use your skills to do better things and be proud of yourself don't focus to other people's life the expiry date diba para lang yan sa food diba para lang yan sa pabango diba para lang yan sa makeup para lang yan sa sabon at sa mga ibang bagay pa hindi yan para sa ating mga babae at hindi yan para sa akin I am 35 years old I still look young but I don't consider myself na mag expired ako let me tell you this we have our own clock we have our own time so live your life in your own terms don't put any expiry date to yourself you're not a fool you are human with big dreams you are a woman who's worth it and this is your life only you can control it and most important thing is you know where you are you know where you're going and you are in the right track everyone has a different path everybody is different and you are a woman with no expiration date <laughs>